Hey everybody, it's your man James, back again with some more comic reviews for you. Today we're going to take a look at Batman Beyond number 43 by Dan Jurgens and Sean Chen. And uh, Sean Parsons and Norman Rackman. Um, this, uh, we'll start off here with this cover by Dustin Wynn. Um, it's a good cover. Um, I like the layout. I like uh, the overall feel, the fluid feel of the motion in the, in the image. Um, but the coloring with the reds and the pinks in the background just feels a little uh, a little camouflaged. You know, it's a little sometimes a little hard to read. Um, you know what's going on. I mean, yeah, you got the central figures of Batman and this this Goliath are uh, are well done, but uh, with the backgrounds being this like off pink, you know, almost magenta color, which kind of blends in with the reds and the blacks. It, it feels a little a little muddled, um, but uh, you know, not a bad cover, just a, a little lacking. You know, needed a, I think it's you know, different background color would have worked better, I think. You know, maybe a, a blue or a, a purple, perhaps something to something to offset against the red rather than uh, mask it the way it does here. But uh, you know, once we get into the book, it's uh, it's a lot better. You know, we start off in the uh, the Himalayas at a a, a, a mountainous uh, temple for uh, the followers of Ra's al Ghul, and uh, we see a new a new leader of uh, this uh, group of assassins. You know, uh, the infidel who sought to command us is no more. The bastard son of the demon is at last gone. From this moment on, we will embrace the future and move forward. Even more importantly, for the first time in years, the true wish, the wishes of our true master, the great Raish Al Ghul, will be honored. And you know, so we got right off the start. You know, we got Raish Al Ghul is going to be involved somewhere. And then we got this great splash image here of uh, Batman in action. You know, I just I like I like that you know Terry McGinnis is a very different Batman. He can smile. While he's out there kicking ass, you know, Bruce Wayne would have been all grim and dour and things like that. But Terry, not so much. He's fighting some uh, some armored data thieves known as Slam Jackers. You know, he's just, and he's talking smack while he's doing it. You know, he's, and I just, I just love this. It's a great, I mean, just look at his layout with the, with the battle, you know, and then the close-ups. You know, it, it's just very, very well done. This is, this is how you do superhero action, just like this. You know, and Terry, like I said, he's always he's talking smack while he's while he's whipping their ass. You know, it, it's uh, you know, there's nothing better than being able to fly, and nothing worse than when you can't. That's the risk you run if you're out to jack data from flying disposal team. Now you must really, really you you must be really, really thankful that old Bat showed up to save you from impending doom. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. Remember, new members of my fan club get personalized autographs if you sign up by midnight. Ciao. You know, that's, I mean, this this right here, this is very much antithesis to how Bruce Wayne Batman would be. He would not be cracking jokes. He would not be smiling. He would not be having a good time with this. He would just, you know, get in and kick the ass and then go because that's his way. But Terry is a very different character. I like I like that. He has almost like a, a Spider-Man-esque edge to him, which is probably why I enjoy the character so much. Uh, then we cut to a scene with uh, Dick Grayson talking with his daughter, who we learned in the previous storyline was uh, masquerading as a uh, Batwoman. And he kind of tries to warn her off being a, a hero because of you know what it's done to him, what he's seen it do to Bruce Wayne and everything else. And so, uh, you know... You know, I know, but no, you don't. I do. It's a life of tragedy that I pray you'll avoid. What about what I want? It's my life. You know, it's a whole the whole thing of, you know, parents and children, you know, and then uh, Barbara Gordon gets involved, you know. It's time for you to let time for you to let go. Let your daughter be the woman she wants to be. Barbara, I promised her mother that 
Unfortunately, she isn't with us anymore. You need to support Elena in her choices. And, you know, you know, just a great, you know, great family-esque type scene. You know, I've always considered you the daughter I never had. And I've always adored you. Your father was raised by a man engulfed in tragedy. Bruce chained himself to a life devoid of peace and tranquility. Dick wants better for you. But what I want is to be Batwoman. It's who you are, honey. I mean, there you are. I mean, just, you know, she, she's accepting her for who she is. And, you know, this is, again, just a great character building moment. You know, it's the kind of thing that, uh, you know, you can do. And then, then we come to uh, the new Bat Cave, as it were. It's, uh, you know, in the previous storyline that the cave was trashed. And so Bruce moves them to this building in town, you know, and uh, you can see just tons of tech and cool stuff, you know. And, you know, this isn't a cave, bro. It's more like a suite. The bat suite. Please. No. Is that really any worse than bat cave? <laughs> see, there it is. Terry again. Look, and just look at that. Look at that expression. You know, see that's 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 why I like the character. That that just that expression alone right kind of sums it up right there. And so while they're there, the slam jackers go back into uh to action. So so does Batman. And you know, he catches up to him and then just goes all out. You know, he's you know, Wayne tells him, you know, you pulled the bat you pulled the razor edge batarangs by mistake, Terry. Appropriate for use against a level eight and above threats only. And then, you know, he goes, after all I've been through, I'm going full max action to make sure that I'm not victimized again. And he kicks, you know, kicks a bunch of ass and, you know, you aren't authorized to use this level of force on non-powered individuals. Dial it back. Authorized. I got all the authorization I needed when my life and identity were taken by false face. It's time for all these dregs to learn that Batman is done messing around. You know, and that's that's just great stuff right there. I love that again, just another look at just look at this shot here. I mean look look at that. You know, just like right in the thick of the action, you know, taking on four at once like it's nothing. You know, this is this is again this is this is superheroes. This is this is what you want. Then uh our cover feature here shows up, Goliath, you know, you know, Damien's dragon buddy. You know, and you think, oh, we're going to see some more action, but no, we don't. You know, Goliath instead wants him to follow him. You know, must be something inside or someone. And then we end with this. Damien, is he even alive? And that leads us to uh, wonder what the fates hold in store for the son of the de the, the grandson of the demon. You know, uh... A really great story. I liked it a lot. Um, had a lot of good action, some character building moments. You know, it sets up the plot for. Uh, I guess we probably. I'm guessing the return of Ra's al Ghul should be fun. Um, you know, Jurgens, great writer, probably one of the best writers in comics today. He he definitely knows how to do superheroes. He definitely uh, he definitely does well here. I really like this issue a lot. Son Chen, I, I remember his work. I've been a follower of his work since the, the early to mid-90s, back when he worked at Valiant on things like Raya and the Future Force and Bloodshot. And uh, like I said, just, you know, he's really great. You know, stuff like this. I mean, just spectacular. You know, he knows how to pace a fight sequence. He knows how to, and yet at the same time, he knows how to present the dramatic scene too. You know, and that's... That's something that you know. Again, it's 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 a it's an acquired skill. It's not something that uh, artists are gonna, you know, learn from a book so much. It's something that you only gain from experience. And Chen certainly has that here. So I mean, uh, definitely a good a good issue overall. Um, give it about seven out of ten. You know, it's not not it's not revolutionary. It's not it's not reinventing the wheel or anything like that. But uh, it's just good solid superhero comic work. You know. Um, you know, this is, this is, again, this is what a, a comic, a superhero comic should strive to be at all times. This right here. This is your minimal standard, guys. What you saw in this, this is what you should be trying for every time you go up to bat. And, uh, you know, 
Jurgens and Chen and Parsons and Rapman uh, actually do uh, do do a good solid. This is a solid base hit, guys. Good job. I definitely recommend. You know, I definitely recommend the series. It's been a overall been a great series. You know, especially if you like the cartoon. You know, I saw the cartoon and back in the late 90s and so uh, if you like the cartoon you'll definitely like the series and if you just like Batman type comics I think you'll really enjoy this series. It's probably been one of DC's uh, most consistent books for quality um, over the last year or so and uh, you should definitely check it out if you haven't already so definitely recommend you can't you can't go wrong checking this out and uh, so I hope you will and That'll do it for this review. Um, if you like what you heard, give me a like there and hit me up with a comment. And if you didn't like what you heard, uh, hit me up with a comment there as well. Always want to hear what you guys got to say about uh, these reviews. And uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you can make sure you never miss another review or any other uh, videos I post here. And until next time, take care.